excited for today? It's Friday, <clears throat> right? Last week of the semester. What? Right? what? Next week? Not. Oh. I was about to say, before you guys going into start exams, but it's like the last full week, we're done. Yeah. I thought you guys should be excited. Okay. So, um, all right. If you guys look at, we have these two angles, all right? And what? remember what T represents. T represents a point on my unit circle. And if you guys can remember, all our unit circle is, is... It's just a circle on, given on these coordinate points. Negative one comma zero, zero comma one, and zero comma negative one, right? So we have these four points that we know are on the unit circle. But if I want to find a point new where t equals phi pi over theta, t represent, or that phi pi over theta represents my measure in radians uh, for theta. So, but t is gonna represent a point on the circle. So I need to figure out at 5 pi over 4, where is my point T? All right? Where is this point lie? Now, a couple things I want to remind you guys of. First thing, we've already talked about radians, right? The radius of my unit circle is 1. And therefore, when we talk about a radian, that's the distance of our radius. And what we say, said is we could wrap it around. I know it's not equal. We could wrap our radians around, around the whole circle. 3, and then uh, 4. Five, six. I know mine aren't spaced out correctly at all, but remember you can take your radius and wrap it around your whole circle and what you end up getting is uh, one radian, two radian, three radians, four radians, five radians, six radians. Well, halfway around is what we call pi, right? Because that's actually not one radian, two radians, three radians, but pi would be 3.14159 radians. And going all the way around is what we call two pi. So I'm just going to erase this over here. Just give me more room. OK. So here's what I want you guys to do to help you out. If you have 5 pi over 4, what, that, what we're doing is that means we're cutting our circle into fourths. All right? So I'm going to look at this circle. And right now, the circle's into halves, correct? Right? One half, second half. So if I break it up into fourths, let's kind of forget about the radian measure. That was just a talking point. I could break it up into fourths. So now this would be one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. Four divided by four would still give you pi, but you can write it like that. Does everybody see what I did? All right. Then this one would be five fourths, and this one would be six fourths. 7 fourths, and then this one is 2 pi, or what we could call 8 pi over 4, which that still reduces to 2 pi, right? So it asks you, where is my point 5 pi over 4? Remember, we start here, go around, and that's our point 5 pi over 4. All right? And then for the next couple problems, you have to evaluate, you know, through trick, your six trick functions at that point, what the coordinates are. So over here, It'd probably be easiest to eliminate this. Well, actually, let's look at it right now. So for this angle, it's saying I want to break it up into thirds. So already it's in halves, but you need to break it, cut it into thirds. Remember when we were folding? It's kind of difficult. It's easy to cut into halves and then to cut into fourths. So you just kept on folding inside. But then when I break it into thirds, it's a little more difficult. You kind of need to forget about this line and break it up into three equal sections. Same thing down here. Just kind of forget about it. So therefore, this would be one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, five thirds. So then where's five pi over three? Right there. Right there. Because you go around. Does that make sense? Yeah. Seth? 